tell me, are the Melbourne Storm feeling like the villains heading into this big clash on Sunday? Oh, I don't think we're, we're thinking that we're villains, but uh, I'm sure when we get there on uh, Sunday night, um, it'll feel a little bit like that. I think there'll be uh, a fair few more um, Panthers fans there than uh, Storm fans, uh, seeing that our, our guys can't you know, travel from Victoria, but um, yeah, that's just the way it is. And um, yeah, uh, like I say, we don't feel, feel that way, but uh, we probably will on sun, Sunday night. Craig, tell us about how the time spent in Queensland as a team has, has made you guys better. Yeah, I, I don't know about the, you know, the actual time staying in Queensland has uh, made us better, Lara. I think, um, I was, well, you know, we, we had a bit of a checkered start to, this, to the year, like, like all other clubs, and we were up and down a little bit with our form. But um, I think, uh, you know, after, you know, seven or eight rounds, um, we settled down and uh, decided, you know, the type of team that we wanted to be, but the type of team that we were capable of being, you know, using our strengths and, um, you know, more so than looking at where we can get better. So um, we, we just tried to, to get better in our stronger areas, to be quite honest. And um, throughout the year, obviously, you know, there, there's, there's been some real, you know, really good things about being up here. Obviously, it's a real tough time, room time in, in Melbourne has been the last, you know, three or four months. Um, up here has been a little bit different, but having said that, we've still been in isolation, but probably the other big thing is, um, you know, there's been a, a lot of sunshine up here, which we're not used to at this time of year, so, you know, that's been, uh, that's been really nice for, you know, the players and their families, but um, having said that, we, we knew, you know, we had to change some things um, in our preparation, um, Again, we, we probably haven't been as um, vigilant, I suppose, in, in, in a few areas uh, because of the situation that we've been in. And a few guys have been under, I suppose, a little bit of stress, a little bit of pressure away from footy. So uh, we've certainly taken that into consideration and um, we got ourselves into a bit of a system, a bit of a routine uh, since we've been up here. And, um, you know, it's worked pretty well for most of the year. Craig, what about your opposition? What makes you nervous about this Penrith side? Oh, a whole heap, actually. Um, you know, to win 17 games straight in this competition is, is, is one hell of an effort, you know. So to be able to do that, and they've done it, um, you know, in pretty good style as well. So that tells me that, um, you know, they're a very, very consistent team. You know, they know what they want to do in a game. And obviously they're getting it done, you know, most weeks or, or every week for uh, for 17 weeks. So obviously they've got, some, you know, uh, some outstanding individuals as well. But I think, um, you know, I, I really do believe their main strength is is the team. You know, they're they're all playing well. They're all playing their roles. Um, and as I said, you know, you need to be. Yeah, you know, mentally tough, physically tough. If you're going to win 17 games in this competition in a row, and uh, that's exactly what they've done. So, Craig, where is the game won on Sunday? <laughs> Probably on the scoreboard, but um, <laughs> obviously with the um, you know the situation with the weather down there, it looks like it might be um, a little bit damp. Um, so, you know, that might be a little bit of a change in tactics for uh, both sides, but certainly. Yeah, you know, we'll need to do a um, a good job defensively, um, and then especially getting out of their own um, their own half or, the, or their own um, you know deep in their own half. They've done that really well uh, all year, and um, I think you know that's going to be a really important thing for us. Um, but again, if we can control our possession, that'll give us a better chance to be able to do that a little bit more effectively. And um, as I said earlier, you know, the big thing that we're looking for this week is just to play to our strengths. You know, we're not, we've, um, we've just moulded our game this year and without getting too technical, too technical on just basically fitting our players' strengths into the team. And um, you know, like I say, I think um, our players have done a great job of that. And they're very aware of what they need to do and when they need to do it. And hopefully we can, um, you know, get the job done on, uh, on Sunday night. 
Now, Craig, there's every chance that we don't see Cameron Smith again after Sunday's grand final. So if that's the case, how do you think he should be remembered? Well, if he, if he doesn't play again, as, you know, has been you know, said a few times, you know, and you know, I really believe that he doesn't know either, to be quite honest. So, um, well, yeah, you know, for me, he's, he's probably go down as uh, the best player that, that I've seen. Um, and I, I go on the line of, you know, what I see as, you know, greatness, I suppose, in our games and in, in, in the life in general is, you know, how, how good do you do what you do um, but how long do you do it for? You know, he's been doing this for 19 years at this level and there hasn't been a whole heap of drop-off. Like, I, I haven't seen a better player play at, at this level or the level that he plays at um, and for doing that for such a long, long time. Uh, certainly for me, you know, I, I reckon he's the best player I've ever been and I've been... A, around the game a little bit. I'm 62 years old, so, you know, and I've been following this game ever since I've been, you know, five, six years old. So um, that's a, probably as big a strap as I can get. But, um, you know, I've been very, very privileged to have been a small part of his career, um, watched most of it, and um, I've admired him for such a long time. And um, like I say, I, uh, I can't think of anyone that I've seen in, in my lifetime have a greater influence uh, on the game than Cameron Smith. Well, Craig Bellamy, thanks for your support on